Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. So I'm very excited to be here. We are looking at love. It is a timeless tarot reading. So whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. And I always like to remind you guys, it is a general reading. So it's possible some of it resonates, some of it doesn't, all of it does, none of it does that's okay moral of the story is to take what works for you leo and leave the rest so i always like to start out as well by saying a very warm welcome to those of you who are new to my channel i am a very proud leo son so i started this channel and all that i do on this channel is readings for the sign of leo so if you are a leo you've come to the right place definitely feel free to stick around because it's all leo all the time on my channel 24 7 365 days of the year. So you are very, very welcome here, my loves. And of course, a very warm welcome back to those of you who are returning. You know, you guys mean so much to me. I love you guys. You are amazing. And I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful week right now. So sending you guys lots of love. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, so I was just shuffling my deck. We're going to see what's coming towards you guys in love. So we've got the eight of cups that came jumping out as I was shuffling. So let's actually get into the reading. We're going to get some general energies here to start and then we're gonna dig into the specifics we're gonna clarify all that good stuff today okay so we did have the eight of cups jumping out this is the energy of walking away from something let's see where this goes what else have we got for leo here okay four of cups okay you guys seriously this is kind of freaky because i did a reading for you guys recently and it's like the same cards came out and i i shuffled this deck so I don't know. I don't know if we have a repeat of an earlier message. Oh my. Okay. Let's see. I'm curious now. I'm like, what is the third card going to be? What do we got for Leo? Oh my gosh. Two. We got two. Okay. So we've got justice and the king of pentacles. Okay. This is kind of funny, you guys, because I did another reading for you um, right before this one. And the message initially was quite similar and I almost feel like this is like part two to the story. So I'll put the other video, um, I don't know, I guess I can put it at the end. I'm like, where can I put this? I'll, maybe I'll put it in the comments because I feel like there was a part one to this story and I now I'm feeling like the reading that we're gonna be doing today is part two to the story, which is super interesting because I have literally never in all of my years of doing tarot had that experience where I do a reading and then I go do another reading and I'm like, this is a continuation of something that I talked about previously. So that is super interesting, you guys. Sorry, I can hear, I've got my phone here. I can hear that it's going off. I just wanna make sure that it is on silent. There we go, perfect. Um, but yeah, so let's just say that this is part two and I will put part one in the comments section um, so you guys can look at that. So basically what we have going on here, I'll tell you what's going on. So if you don't watch the other video, you'll still understand. Um, Eight of cups and the four of cups. It's like you're withdrawing from a situation here that is no longer working for you, okay? Now in part one of this reading, it looked like you were still wanting to work on this connection. So the outcome of part one, spoiler alert, is that even though there has been a struggle in a relationship, you were trying to fix things within that connection. So essentially what I saw in part one was you were having troubles with somebody, they're sending mixed messages, the relationship initially was really happy and then things really went downhill. And then you were left in this position where you had to figure out like, what do I do? Now, the interesting thing in that reading is that your person's energy was uncertain, unclear, but your energy was very motivated to work on things. And there was a bit of a disconnect because it was like, you're trying to work on things because you don't want to walk away, but it felt like you were the only one who was really putting the effort into that connection. And in that reading, I was saying, you know, it's tough because a relationship has two people. So if you have only one person who is motivated to fix things, if the other person doesn't step up, that could definitely start to cause problems later on. And so I'm wondering now, because we've got the Eight of Cups and then the Four of Cups, it almost feels like for some of you, maybe you really did reach that point where you're like, I have literally tried everything that I can 
and now I'm just disconnecting from this connection. And I think that if that's the case, you can do that with a clear conscience where you can say, I really did try everything that I could to make this work and I just couldn't. Now, the interesting thing is these cards are different, okay? So these are different cards than what I saw in the other video because we have justice and we have the king of pentacles. I think that you could be walking away from somebody where, like I said, it wasn't working. I think it was probably hard to walk away, but you realize that you were the only one investing. I think you're moving towards somebody who is a lot more stable and secure and somebody who actually, with that justice energy, which is Libra in energy, you are really good at communicating with each other. You're really good at resolving conflict because one of the issues I saw with the other relationship is there was some sort of like breakdown where it's almost as if your person, they wanted to communicate with you, but they just didn't have the words or maybe they weren't really a good communicator. But I actually think you have somebody new coming in and they're going to be a really good communicator. Like I said, they could be a Libra. They could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Their energy feels a lot more stable than what I was seeing in the previous energy. And so, yeah, I mean, maybe you want to go back and watch part one and then come back to this video, you guys. Um, this is super weird. I mean, I, I don't know what's going to come out in the cards till I do the reading. And now I'm like, is this confusing having a part one and part two? Anyway, it is what it is. Um, but basically, I think you're moving towards somebody new. So for this reading, I'm actually going to focus now on the new energy that is coming in. So for those of you who are connecting with this energy where you've left behind a relationship where it wasn't even, it wasn't balanced, you were trying to fix it, your person was sending mixed messages, and you've now ended it, I think you're moving toward a partnership that is now much more stable. The justice energy is about the scales. It's about balance. And I think that you're attracting in a connection where there is going to be that reciprocity. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually for the rest of the reading, look at this new person coming in, because like I said, in part one, we looked extensively at this like maybe soon to be past person. So for those of you who are looking for something new, we're gonna focus on this new energy coming in. So tell me about this person who is here for Leo, please. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Already we've got a big shift in energy. So this is just confirming, yes, this is a new person coming in. There's fire, there's passion, there's chemistry, there's fireworks. This is all about a brand new beginning. Aces are about new beginnings. What else have we got here? beautiful and then we've got the magician so this person is working on manifesting a beautiful future with you and a beautiful connection with you leo that's so lovely they're taking action toward you they're in manifestation mode they're like i want to get to know leo this is going to be great okay um what else have we got here what else and then oh i love it guys so we've had the king and the queen of pentacles now already within your reading beautiful, right? Whenever I get like a king and a queen together, I know they didn't technically come out together, but they're pretty close together in the reading. It feels like a really good connection. Like it's meant to be, things are flowing, things are feeling easy. And the thing with this king and this queen of pentacles is that this is the energy of somebody who is very stable, very reliable, very grounded, I didn't see that kind of energy showing up on your past person's energy. And like I said, the past person energy that you can see in part one of this video, um, it was very like unstable, uncertain. And now already in a short amount of time in this reading, we're seeing the King and the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, very grounded energy coming in. So what is this person feeling? What is this person feeling? So <laughs> seven of cups. Okay, so in the context of this reading, like seven of cups can be, oh, you know, there's options, you know, um, what do I choose? But I almost kind of feel like this person is looking at you and being like, does Leo have a lot of options? Is Leo gonna choose me? And the seven of cups can also be a bit of that like fantasy and illusion type of energy. And so they might be looking at you and being like, wow, this is like almost too good to be true. So the way I read tarot, you guys, I don't really, like I talk about what the cards mean individually, but I really kind of feel into the energy based on the other cards 
cards surrounding it. So my interpretation of cards, like it's really within the larger context of the reading. So just so you guys understand how I approach tarot, because the seven of cups in your, I think the seven, yeah, the seven of cups showed up in part one, but because there was so much like challenging energy surrounding it, it made me feel like your person, your past person was very confused. But because in this reading, we have such positive energy, I'm feeling it more as this person looking at you and being like, Leo has options and I hope that Leo chooses me. Okay, what else is this person feeling? What else are they feeling? Ooh, okay, we've got the devil energy here. I'm not gonna show the card on camera because if you guys have watched some of my recent videos, you know that I've had an issue with some of the tarot cards. My video is getting flagged for nudity um, because of the tarot cards. So anyway, I'm not gonna show it, but we do have that devil energy, which is a very lusty, very attractive energy. So this person seems to really crave and desire you. I do think that their initial attraction to you, especially with that Ace of Wands, it's gonna be physical. I do think that's gonna be the first thing that really draws this person toward you, Leo. Okay, what else? And then the Hermit. So this person is maybe coming out of a period in their life where they've done a lot of introspection, they've done a lot of deep thinking, they've been in that Hermit mode, and they're definitely ready to get out there. And I think it's almost gonna catch them off guard how physically, attractive <laughs> that they find you like I'm really getting the vibe from this person that they are going to find you very physically attractive and that's probably the first thing that's going to pull the two of you together so what action is this person taking toward Leo three of wands nice so yeah it's like they see a future with you Leo they see a future here they're coming in they want to like talk about that they want to talk about all the fun cool things you guys are going to do together Oh, wow. Look at that. Another ace, you guys. Yeah, this is definitely new love. Definitely, definitely new love. Ace of Pentacles, very loyal, very devoted, very caring. This person is here to show their commitment to you, Leo. What else? What else? And then the Six of Cups. There's going to be like an instant connection between the two of you. That is what I am picking up on so strongly. Like this person is instantly going to feel attracted to you. They're instantly going to feel that connection. Sometimes when the Six of Pentacles shows up, it, or Six of Cups, you guys, sorry. Sometimes when the Six of Cups shows up, it feels like there's that soul connection between the two of you. So this person is really, really feeling something quite strong developing between the two of you, and they're very excited about it. The physical side of things is very strong initially, and then you're gonna just gonna you're gonna just gonna, oh my gosh, you're going to just start to dig into that more <laughs> and get to know each other. Okay, so let's look at you, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. Because like I said, you're potentially coming off of a tough situation. So let's see where you're at, what's going on. 10 of Pentacles, nice, okay. So you are looking for somebody who can give you the 10 of Pentacles, provide you with that love, that stability. And so you're looking for that. You're trying to create that within your life seven of pentacles you want to put in the work to build a relationship i think that you're being really intentional right now as you move forward especially like i said some of you have recently ended a connection where you tried to make it work you tried to be patient and it did not turn out the way that you hoped so i feel like with new love coming in you're being very intentional about who you're choosing to date and getting clear to make sure that the two of you are on the same page about what you want tell me more for leo please and then the five of swords you're still hurting you're still having some pain from that past relationship. You could still be in contact with this past person. There, there does seem to be some negativity. There does seem to be some conflict. The you, two of you might still be like, I don't know, working through some issues within this connection, trying to like sort things out. Um, especially if you were married to this person and you're in a separation or divorce. I mean, you're probably still dealing with like legal issues, separation of assets, uh, custody issues. If you guys have kids together, stuff like that. So that past situation is not necessarily completely done. You might still be dealing with some of the after effects of that. Okay. So what is Leo feeling? What is Leo feeling? Knight of cups. <laughs> Yeah, you're wanting to get back to the business of being in love with somebody, being romantic, having a beautiful connection. What else? What else for Leo? Ooh. Eight of Pentacles. You're feeling ready to invest in the right relationship, right? This essentially comes down to where do you invest your time? 
because with the past person, like in part one of this video, it really did feel to me like you were putting in so much hard work and effort into this connection. Um, but the thing is, it wasn't being reciprocated, at least not with what I saw in that reading. And so now it feels like you're ready and willing to give your energy to the right person who's also going to give that back to you. Okay. What else? What else is Leo feeling? Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're so ready to charge forward. I think this card showed up in the same position in the first reading. And again, because in the first reading, you were motivated to fix it, but maybe you were just directing your energy at the wrong person. And now I think you're directing it at someone who is potentially a much better fit for you. It is really uncanny, the similarity with some of the cards coming out in this reading. You guys can see, look, I'm like, I'm shuffling it on camera. You can see that I'm shuffling the cards here. So I don't know, there's obviously a connection between these two readings. All right, um, so what is uh, what actions are Leo taking? What actions are Leo taking toward this person? Let's see. Four of Wands, you see a lot of potential here, you guys. I like it. You see a lot of potential here with this person. You're like, yeah, I could have the Ten of pe uh, Pentacles. I could have the Four of Wands with them. What else? Page of Pentacles, you could be making some sort of offer to them. I definitely, I mean, <laughs> Leo, you've got a huge heart you jump into relationships and love and you give it your all. And so I actually am kind of loving some of this energy I'm seeing for you because I'm like, even though I know some of you ended things recently and it, you know, it didn't work out and it was sad, but it almost feels to me like you're not letting that get you down and you still believe in love. What else? What else? And then the five of wands. Yeah, I, I think you still got some conflict with your ex and I kind of feel like your ex could still be trying to get your attention. You might be trying to move on with somebody new. So there could just be like a little bit of lingering drama. It doesn't feel major, but definitely a bit of drama there. Okay. All right. Um, you might also have a little bit, I'm also getting a little bit of inner conflict. Like if you recently ended something and then you're just meeting somebody new, you might be like, you know, is it too soon to move on? Like I didn't expect this. So there could be some sort of internal conflict coming up for you as well about this new relationship. I just think it's because there's still some connection with the past. So you might think of your ex and then, I don't know, feel a little guilty about moving on. My opinion, you don't have to feel guilty about that, but you do you, Leo. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what the advice is here. What's the advice? Knight of Pentacles, beautiful. So it's like, with this new connection, take things slow. There's no need to rush anything, okay? Take your time to get to know each other and really make sure that the two of you are compatible. You want the same things. Um, what I saw in part one of this reading in the overall energy um, was that maybe in that past relationship, you guys rushed things and then you missed out on important information about the connection. And now I feel like with this connection, it's like, don't rush things this time. Take things a little bit slower. Seven of Swords, do lots of talking. Take lots of time to talk, get to know each other, be curious about each other and learn about each other. And then the High Priestess, trust your intuition, right? Trust that intuition, my lovely lions. What is your intuition telling you in this situation? That's gonna help guide you moving forward. I think your intuition is gonna be telling you. Does this feel good or not? And if it feels good, it's like, keep moving toward that. So what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome? All right. King of Cups, love, true love, potentially. Very deep emotional connection. What else? What else? Okay. Oh, <laughs> King of Wands. I love it. I love it. Okay. I like, I like it. I love it. Okay. What else? Let's get one more. Leo, Ten of Cups. I I'm just gonna hold this up for you. Give me a moment here. We're just gonna hold this up for you, Leo. Okay, all right. I want you to look at this outcome. This is a re really, really nice outcome here. I want you to take that in, look at that. Look at that, you guys. King of Cups, King of Wands, Ten of Cups. First things first, I got super excited when we had two kings jumping out. I'm gonna tell you why. The king, there's no gender here, by the way. The king, though, is the highest, like, court card within the tarot. And the king energy represents a person who is mature, who is evolved, who knows who they are, who knows what they want. And so it delights me here that we have two kings in the outcome because it feels to me like you and your person are coming together. Both of you are in this mature, loving, passionate energy 
and it just feels like two people who know what they want. There's no games, there's no messing around, there's no playing here. You guys both are settled in who you are, you're confident and you're getting an amazing relationship. And then with the 10 of cups, it's happily ever after. This is the outcome, you guys. That's why I want you to like really take this in because I'm like, the outcome here is amazing. The potential here with this new person coming in is off the charts. It is the potential for happily ever after and true love. And it's like, yeah, maybe your past relationship, it, it really shows you like, you can't make the wrong person the right person. I should have said that in part one of this video. You can't make the wrong person the right person. And I think that's what it was. Like past person, again, whenever I'm doing these readings, I'm not saying past person is bad person or anything like that. At the end of the day, when we're talking about love, it comes down to who's the right person for you. And we can't make the wrong person the right person. And I wonder if that's kind of what you were doing with that past energy. But now with the current energy that I'm seeing in this reading, I actually feel like this is the right kind of person. They're matching you. You guys are on the same level you want the same things and the flow of this relationship as it moves forward is going to feel so different from that other relationship and my sense is that you're going to be so happy that things did not work out not like happy it didn't work out with the past person but like you're going to understand now why it didn't work out because it was just like it it didn't work I'm it's like two magnets that are just like repelling each other. And sometimes as much as they might be a lovely person and you are, it doesn't work out. But then when you meet somebody like what I see in this reading where it just fits, it's so much easier to have this amazing connection. And that's really what I see here today for you guys. And I love that. So yeah, definitely feel free to check out part one if you haven't already, you guys. And you can look at these as standalone readings as well. But literally the first time I think I've ever done readings and been like, I think this is a two part reading, even though I did not intend it to be that way. It definitely feels like part one and part two of this video go together for some of you guys. So yeah, you can kind of see if the messages connect. If not, that's okay too. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.